be advised. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Hello, my name is Eric Tomboatko and welcome, welcome to Politics Today. Uh, yes, I know the program today, our topic is going to be basically be with biodiversity because we are featuring the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. But yes, it is also political because exactly where it's going is nowhere, which is why it has to become political first before it becomes a real main issue. But before we go into the title, I'd like to make a short commentary uh, for all of those of you who are watching now in Pampanga, we are on free to air on UHF channel 44. So I'd like to say hello to all the people there at the central Luzon area. I'd like to also make a slight comment that for those of you who are dealing with the land bank in San Fernando, watch your pants. Because as you deal with this group, they will take your pants, not only your pocketbook, especially those managers who are there extremely unscrupulous. So be careful because I myself am a victim of what they call, let's see, the, the CARP, the Masagana 99 as it goes back. They just simply refuse to pay the people. They reward the people who give their lands to government who believe in the spirit of the law of land redistribution by penalizing them for all these whatever. I call this the culture of exploitation that seems to continue, no less than the president. Has mentioned this in a sauna and it's been coming out in the newspapers in Father Bernard's column just last week and soon even more editorials that will come out. Apparently there is really a problem with these GFIs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go straight to the topic now. We're going to talk about biodiversity, exactly how we understand it. Well, you tell me. Um, right before the show came on, we were talking with the guests that we have on the studio today and we were asked, uh, it was asked of us, ano kaya? give me one word for biodiversity. I looked up and without thinking I said life. That's exactly what we're talking about. Now you and I may not seem to understand it because the academe is very busy, well basically understanding the issues with research and development and how we can adapt to today's life. Exactly. But it seems it needs media to generate awareness to the executives. You of all people, those of you that run corporations who say you have corporate social responsibilities and don't really understand the meaning. It seems corporate social responsibility today is what we call the false green. As green as the walls are around us, it's just the color. When in reality, many seem to think corporate social responsibility is nothing but charity. It's not. The topic today is going to center around that. Basically, biodiversity is everyone's business. And we're going to talk about biodiversity <coughs> as being part or the center of what you call the corporate social responsibility because after all it is the executives the, the CEOs of the big corporations who should initiate this to make the others understand how biodiversity works within our community now as our guests at the very far left we have Jose Riano uh, no middle section we have Mr. Jose Riano Broadcam Corporation established he established Broadcam Biopharma Inc uh, Let's see, they are distribution of pro pri proprietary therapeutic natural and biological products for different diseases. What exactly is it? Broadcam is appointed for development and distribution of veterinary and pharmaceutical products in the region, inclusive of Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Laos, Cambodia, Singapore, Brunei, and Hong Kong. That's a lot of countries that we have right there. And the other guest that we have is from the ASEAN Center of Bi Biodiversity with Mr. Reynaldo F. Molina, Resource Mobilization Specialist, who's here with us to discuss these issues. And being biodiversity our favorite subject, where I have my favorite co-host, Dr. Gil Santos, to discuss with us exactly all these issues of biodiversity. So gentlemen, hello, welcome to the studio. So I guess we're going to talk about life and corporate social responsibility yes. when it comes to all of these issues. So who would want to go first? Go Gil. Being cause. Ano kaya maganda gawin dyan? Well, Corporate social responsibility. Hindi naman naiintindihan ng mga executives natin eh. <laughs> because they think, really, they think it's charity. But in effect, what they should do really is look at how, how they can do that and make money at the same time. That's right. Because there is something, something like there is money to be made if you're doing the right thing. 
and money will come secondarily, but it will come naturally, you know. So that my question to uh, Joe Rianyo is, how do you make money in biodiversity? I'm thinking about what you have as natural, the trees, you know, the fruits. How do you make money out of that? Well, uh, when we started this, these things, mm. you make money out of that by, uh, you, you know, you've got to develop what you could do with the products, with mm -hmm. the trees about around you. So your R&D and your research would be working. On our side, what we did was we tried to look at the natural or endemic trees around the area. Mm -hmm. And we see, we try to find which one would be very uh, profitable in terms of we use technology and produce them in commercial quantities. You without didn't have you didn't have to be a plant breeder. You didn't have plant breeders. No, no, to you don't interfere? have. No? What is there? What is in the mountain? What is mm. present there? Mm. Anything. I would. I'd like to praise it this way. Anything that is here in this world, created by the Creator, mm. has its own purpose, has its own value. It is just for us to look for it. Ah. So that's how I did it. Yeah. Try to. I have several plants. They are used for, uh, for uh, therapeutic purposes, for food, for everything. We have it all around us, what even saying, the animals. What you're saying is biodiversity really is the interdependence of both people and yes. fauna and flora. Th this yeah. is the, the, the biggest uh, wow. thing that people don't understand. When they talk of biodiversity, they, they just think that it is the variety of species in a certain eco ecosystem. They forgot that the human beings, the people around, is also part of this ecosystem. Yeah. So yeah. now, what happens right now with this country is that we try to develop an ecosystem wherein we separate the people living inside that ecosystem. Ah, okay. Wherein they know that these people have to live yes. like the other part of this ecosystem. They have to survive. And when you forget the most essential uh, species, which is the human being, mm -hmm. then these people will destroy the ecosystem, the whole ecosystem just to survive. Are you saying symbiosis? It is a symbiosis, is? definitely. Ah, okay. You have to, oh. you have to live with that. That's uh, very important. Okay, Mr. Molina, how is your assessment summary of biodiversity together with this assessment of corporate social responsibility and finding out exactly what's going on today? Uh -huh. May comprehension ba? Naintindihan ba natin? Uh, based on our participation in CSR related events, no? parang kulang eh. Mm -hmm. uh, Saan ang kulang? Sino ang kulang? At uh, exactly what I think kulang more on the awareness of part ng public. Ano ibig sabihin ng biodiversity? Ano? Yes, on what biodiversity parang is. Parang tingin nila, parang sinasabi niya, tama eh. Ang, uh -huh. ang tingin ng mga corporate social responsibility nila, charity. Uh -huh. Alam ko na, pinturahan natin mga building natin ng kulay green. Gaya ng Ayala, pangalan uh, pa nga natin green belt. Tapos, lagay natin mga halaman dyan kaya magmukhang green. Pero ilalim niya, simento na rin niya, sinira mo na rin yung biodiversity. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay po. Di ba, yes. is that the assessment of biodiversity, uh -huh. the CN Center? Uh -huh. Actually, that's why we are promoting this so-called business and biodiversity initiative. How do we do that? Exactly, how does uh, it complement each other to begin with? Yes, how actually, do you do business and biodiversity? Uh, well, uh, to give you a background, no, it, it, it started in uh, 2008 during the conference of parties of the uh, convention of biological diversity wherein they are encouraging participation of business because there's a recognized important importance of the role of business to biodiversity conservation how uh, wait, wait let's see business <coughs> let's see we develop roads we kill the forest to put in more residences because after all people need to live somewhere uh -huh. We have an expanding population, so we mm -hmm. kill the forest to put more cement because after all we need cement houses because of the typhoons. We introduce electricity in wire cables, which is not exactly biodiversity. It does not biodiversify. And then we plow the fields, kill the biodiversity so we can grow food. No, it's not like that. It's not. Uh, okay. yes. Please, yeah. please. Actually, uh, the, the, the objective of the Convention of Biological Diversity is really to conserve First is to conserve biodiversity and then sustainably use this biological diversity as well as access and equitable sharing of the use of this and biodiversity. Access and equitable sharing. Yes. Where do we draw the line? Yes. How do we draw the line there? Mahirap, no? For example, we, we have an expansion. We have a population in this country we refuse to put on hold. We have legislation that's being introduced. 